will chat gtp help me learn ns open we have seen some examples in part 1 of this video now i am continuing the research further in this video and we will pick up few more examples to test whether chat gtp is really worth to consider as a learning resource for nsopen so let's continue last time i asked nx uh, i asked chat gtp uh, to create an example to create rectangle in a sketch in nsopen but we have seen that has failed miserably now let's see what next i have done with it so what i have done next is i have asked him example using triple mask triple mask is one of the technique that helps us selection of objects from nx nx window so i have asked this typical example to chat gtp and as usual it has given me the code as well as some description about that code I, I i forgot to mention in the last video it perfectly writes the the code including the commented lines as well uh, that describes what that piece of code is exactly doing but we see that it the code is not really working now this time let's see if this typical example is working or not so i will copy this code will go to annex i will paste that copied code in my journal file and i will execute it oops same thing same uh, same errors basically so my code is not working without an error it says triple mask is not defined selection manager is not a member uh, again selection action is not a member get selected objects is a not member etc etc so i can tell you from my understanding of nx that this typical example or even earlier one that example is missing the basic uh, object selection uh, approach or uh, it is basically missing how to get to that particular level to select a particular object or work on that so that kind of uh, understanding this chat gtp is missing what i mean by this let's say if you want to create a rectangle so to create a rectangle you must select a plane and you must you must go to create the sketch on that plane and then you are able to create the rectangle the same thing happens with the selection of objects uh, when writing a code in any open so that part is i see is missing here so it is uh, my expectation was very high but uh, chat gtp is not up to the mark it is not giving me expected results that can work the or the results that work in uh, in a real scenario it's not working at all so let's give one more try if it uh, works let's see if it works there yeah. yeah so what i did next i have asked one more example uh he, it, this time i asked give me the selection of sorry if given selection of age is full circle or not give me an example to find out identify if a selected age is full circle or not so not only the example but as usual it has given me some information as well it says that there is a curve api uh, and we can check as open dot arc and we can also check the start and end angle so that we can confirm if it is full circle or not really cool it really talks with us like it is very very expert in that subject 
uh, and also gives the example that feels like it is really cool. It is something that we get just asked and we can get anything out of it and of a genie thing. But let's see if this is working at least for us. I'm again into my NX window. We'll paste this code from chat GTP and I'm going to play this code. Again, I got a series of errors. So three examples or three questions I asked to chat GTP. I got three answers and all of these three answers are not working inside NX. They are not providing me the basically the examples are not at all working. So they are of no use to me as a newbie. I'm not able to handle or solve these errors and I cannot move ahead. I am expecting a lot, but I am not able to get why, what I am expecting out of it. What next I have done with ChatGTP is I asked another question, which is very different than what I asked before. I asked to convert the above code in Python, and it has converted that code in Python and also shared me some information about it. As I look at this code, it looks like a Python code, but again, whether it will really work or not, that is a big question. So we will stop or we will end our analysis or we will end our validation of chat GTP. And we can conclude firmly that chat GTP has a way, way long to go to help us learn NX open. So this is the situation with chat GTP now. It cannot help us at all. Maybe out of 100 questions that we ask, it may be able to give the correct answers to five of them. But I am confident that it's going to fail for 95 uh, times at least out of 100. So we cannot consider chat GTP as a learning resource for NX Open. But the another uh, comment that I can add, I have used chat GTP to convert typical software programming language code from one programming language to another. And that stuff, it really do very well. If you have any NX Open code that you provide to him, and asked to convert to any other programming language, it will probably fail. But if any other programming code or code blocks that you have, and you wanted to convert that into the other programming language, it is doing that very smoothly and it works very well as well. But not an NX open code. So this is what we able to know about chat GTP. So chat GTP is no more a valid option to explore for any person, for any design engineer who wanted to learn any token. Thank you and bye-bye.